uh, you're doing out here? What you're uh, advocating for? Yeah, I'm uh, against gun violence. Uh, and gun violence in general, do you advocate for removing all guns? Uh, what kind of uh, no, what not are all traditions guns. On, on guns in general? Not so? all guns. I'm a gun owner myself. We are? But uh, automatic weapons, assault rifles, they belong on the battlefield. Not on our streets, not in our homes, not in our schools. Their only purpose of those weapons is to kill human beings. They're not good for hunting. They're not good for target practice. They're not good for home defense. What about our... Uh in the event government becomes tyr tyrannical, what mm -hmm. about our defense against such a government? Uh, that's that's kind of a red herring there. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, so do you really think that if the government becomes tyrannical and they're armed with B-2 bombers and M1 Abrams tanks and a million and a half soldiers that Billy Bob and, and Leroy out there in the woods with their AR-15s are going to be able to do anything about it? Well, this is the most well-armed uh, civilian populace in, in the entire world, you could say, right? It worked well exactly. with the, uh, the Vietnamese rice farmers, paddy farmers, and they were going up against the most superior technological marvel of military might in the world and fared quite, quite well against that. Point and we say. also have 33,000 firearms deaths every year, far more than any other high-income country, okay? And that would be cut down dramatically if we had some common-sense gun control. 60% of that would be uh, suicide. And then when you have uh, 310 million people out there, the deaths attributed to gun violence account for about 0.0004%. Okay, 60% suicide. Yeah. Are those any less important than ones committed during a crime? Do you think people would not commit suicide if there were no guns? There would be fewer suicides. There would still, still be finding ways to commit There suicide. would be fewer suicides because if you have to take the time to slit your wrists and watch the blood bubble up out of your veins, you're going to say you're going to think twice. There are more handgun deaths than rifle deaths, you know that. Yeah, I know. Right. What I'm saying is all you have to do is pull the trigger. Okay? So you're feeling bad at that moment, you shoot yourself and it's over. Okay? Would you, would you not want to remove handguns since that's usually the, uh, the weapon of choice? I would limit handguns. You would limit handguns. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Now, what do you think, uh, in, in terms of limiting handguns, are you saying like you agree with the age of 21? You shouldn't buy guns should, until 21? There should be an age limit, uh, just as we have age limits for drinking and driving and voting and all those sorts of things. Absolutely. The other thing is there should be a limit on the number of guns that you, that you buy. Why does somebody need a, a small arsenal that they can arm a, a third world country with? That doesn't make any sense. The other thing is high capacity magazines. Okay, There's no need for that either. All right. And the final thing is there needs to be background checks, universal background checks. They pass this background check. Uh, then like his cruise guy. Yeah, okay, what about the uh, the gun show loophole? Gun show loophole? There's, there's no gun show loopholes. Absolutely. There, there are laws against people. People have to go through a background check. You try to buy a gun in Virginia at a gun show, you go through a background check. I have to go through one when I try to buy through it. Okay. Uh, yeah. and, but here's the thing, though. Uh, the government failed, right? Because you had all these people reporting. No, 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 no. The government didn't fail. Okay? The FBI was warned twice. The government didn't the FBI fail, FBI was warned twice. That's a Look, fact. you're trying to make an excuse for the fact that we have too many guns in this country in, too many, in the hands of people who shouldn't have them. You're just trying to make an excuse. Just excuse. face it's it, not sir. My face it's the fact it. No, sir. Are you, no, sir. Are you denying that, sir, that the FBI was not warned of Nicholas Cruz twice? Sir, that listen, he made a YouTube listen video to me. Saying listen to me. Why did he have the gun? Why did he have that gun in the first place? That's you, you, It's a red herring. You're trying to make an excuse and blame somebody other than what's really at fault. And that's that individual and the fact that in this country it's too easy to own a gun. That's yeah, the simple fault fact. Yeah, it's that individual, right? It's too easy to own a gun in How this country. How is it country. the NRA's fault? There's no NRA member that's ever killed anyone. Oh, come on, sir. What NRA member murders someone with No, no, no. You, you, you put that... You, you, you made that, that on your side. You made that contention. You, you have made that on the, your side. You made the, I didn't say they murdered right anybody. There. It says right there, an excuse for murder. An excuse for murder. It didn't say they murdered anybody. Read it and think a little bit. Okay, you're just trying to the make NRA, excuses. The NRA, blind politician, brainwashing You're people. trying to make excuses right, for gun. your ignorant arguments, sir. Excuse for murder. Excuse for murder. Yeah. Now, can I say then, um, yeah, they're, who, who did the NRA murder? I didn't say the NRA murdered anybody. Okay. But you want to blame the NRA as if they're responsible. The for NRA it. is a lobbying organization whose sole purpose in life is to convince politicians to vote they want the way they want them to and also to get as many people to buy as many guns as they can. It's all about making money. And they hide behind the Second Amendment. It's just, it's it's disgusting. It's pathetic. What do you think about the Texas shooter? There was an NRA member that went to go grab his rifle yeah. to take him down. Yeah, it wasn't so. the police, it wasn't the government. So what? Was so what? So he shouldn't so he should not have had that capacity to reach for that weapon to take down a mass murderer? 
You know, I'm not saying that. You're not saying that. No, not you at think, all. Uh, you're saying civilians shouldn't pretty particularly have these kinds Look, of weapons. What I about said, the Jews? I'm a gun owner myself. What about the Jews during World War II? Do you think they should be kind of disarmed and limited themselves and the Again, types of means you that are, you are, you are using facts in ways that are simply that to your heard. no. Uh, they're simply to your advantage to justify a flawed uh, logic. I'm just saying, really government, what the position I'm saying is government can't really protect you from these sort of things. And now, oh, times you find government has actually commits many of these oh mass murders. Oh, my God. Have so you, you familiar you, with Kent State shooting? So, so you think you think Are you familiar this, with the Kent State absolutely. shooting? Absolutely. Right. You, you think the Second Amendment was designed to put weapons in the hands of, of the populace so that they can overthrow a government if it becomes tyrannical? Is that what you're getting at? Uh, I, I don't think, uh, I don't think, uh, I mean, that I would say ridiculous. that's the reason for it, but I'm not really that particular. That is ridiculous. <laughs> I oh think my, my God, right to sir. defend myself Get comes your head from a piece out of paper. Pocket. You I don't think my right comes from a piece of paper that old people wrote several hundred years ago, right? <laughs> my right to defend myself and my means doesn't come from. Who are you going to defend yourself against? What are you so afraid people of? People who advocate the initiation of force, violence. Come on. And time and time again, can stay shooting. Waco. No, no, no. Oh, look, look at the sheriffs no. in Florida. Uh -uh. They could not even protect those look, kids. Look, they head like cowards. Look, you're they not going to change my mind. I'm not going to change your mind, okay? More than kids, head. kids should not go to school fearing that they're going to get murdered in school, okay? There are too many guns on the street. Too many of the wrong people have them in their hands. That's a simple fact. Okay, nearly half the guns in civilian hands in all the world are in the U.S. That's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. How would you get rid of those guns then? Buy them back. You just buy them back. And what if they don't want to sell them? No. Well, then, then we're shit out of luck. Okay. Then it's fine then for them to own their weapons. Then. No. What happens is you don't produce those anymore, and so eventually the supply chain dries up. Okay, it takes a while. It's not a perfect solution, but it's something. Even if it saves one life, don't you think it's worth it? Do you think that? Uh, well, yeah, government can't even protect those lives. Oh, Supreme Court rulers have said time and time again that there's oh no God. duty to protect life and liberty. You property. are so brain dead, sir. You, ever you heard are of, so uh, brain dead. Warren versus District of Columbia. Yeah. The Supreme Court case. Yeah. All right. The cops cops did not respond. They were Look, raped. Two women here. You can DC find all sorts of they, examples they where cops didn't ruled, respond appropriately. They ruled that and you can no find duty to protect way life more examples property. where cops did respond appropriately. Oh. Sir, you're just After picking and choosing. You're cherry picking. Cops are minutes away. You're cherry picking and picking what you want to believe in, not what the real world is. Is, the real no, sir. No, 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 no. You're picking just, one or two, three or three little things to support your flawed reasoning. It's just not right. I mean, that, this has happened in Florida. Four sure. sheriff's counties, deputies, yeah, head like cowards instead of engaging the shooter. Oh yeah, and I know Donald Trump would have run in and, and, and taken care of the situation. Do you think maybe right? if someone said there's pot inside, they would have rushed in? Sir, 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 sir. Yeah, those guys didn't do the right thing. Okay, that's great. So what there's do you no think? There's no duty to protect. So, I'm so what do you saying, think? I don't think the government all, all the teachers and all the teachers. Oh come on, sir. That's what the purpose of government is. They, they don't do it. Their Supreme Court, their judges said that oh, it's not. My God. They're, oh and my from God. their words, they said they Sir, do not. You, you are They're, so ignorant. You this, are this is so not me. ignorant. This is not me. That's their judges Sir, say that. sir, you are completely ignorant. versus Winnebago County. No duty to protect. You are completely no out of line. No duty to protect. Sir, sir. Uh -uh. That's not me. Get your head out of your ass. That's the judge. Start thinking. That's the judge. Start thinking. That's the okay? judge. Okay. If that's the way you believe, yeah. then you're you're saying that you think it's okay that kids get murdered in school. That's exactly what you're saying. But you want legislation to take... You're not saying you don't want to take guns away, you just want to limit the production of guns? Limit the production? Get rid of assault weapons? How do you get rid of assault capacity. rifles, though? You don't make them anymore. Just don't, don't make sell them, anymore. just like Dick's Sporting Goods. All right, so they we can still right have thing. a rifle, so you just don't want people to sell them. You don't think the market, the black market, can continue to make that? Of course it will for yeah, a while, well, right. but we'll dry it up, okay? And you'll make it less likely that those kinds of tragedies happen. It's a simple fact, sir. You, you you really need to think a little bit. Well, you know, I'll, I think your advocates for legislation, though, for all this stuff, aren't they? Don't you think they're backed by guns? What are you talking about? If I wanted to create my own, uh, you know, rifle making businesses, right? And you want to pass a law that says I can't do that, who do you think comes knocking on my door to try to stop me from doing that? People Look, with guns, what, what right? What I'm saying is the system's not perfect. People with guns the will have to stop me flawed. from okay. making guns. Is that right? Do, do you not agree that there are too do many guns in America? Do you see that logic of that? Do you not you agree see, that yeah, there are too many guns great. in that's America? That's fantastic. Government can't protect you. Leave it to the individuals to have their duty protect themselves. Oh my God. That's, that's, Do you think gun-free zones work? That's Afghanistan, sir. Do you sir. think gun-free zones work? They can. Apparently, yeah, it works for the shooter. Yeah, you, you really <laughs> that have doesn't, a screw doesn't work loose. for anyone else, does it? You really have a screw loose. How about the uh, Aura movie shooting? Hey, Out of all you, the movie theaters where they all have guns, and he shows the one that did not have guns in. That the majority of NRA members want some degree of gun control. Do you not? I don't know about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look it up.
Okay. Okay. You like to pick your facts that are convenient. Well, those are NRA. I'm, I'm not an NRA member. Okay. Yeah. You're an anarchist. That's what you are. I'm an anarchist. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I am. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well. Yeah. I have I'm, uh, I'm glad you're not in charge then. I mean, this guy's advocating for raising the age of 21. Yeah. So yeah. That's you think good. that's? Do you think that's great? Sure. Do you think then no one should join the military until they're 21? Because if you're not. Do you think we 21, should have? You think we should have no limits? No limits to what? Okay. You you want individual freedom with no limits? Is that what you're I'll, saying? I'll leave that to the uh, to the market to decide. If there's a business like Dix has recently said they so don't want to sell rifles, there shouldn't that's fine. be that's a minimum dry, uh, driving age. Uh, if you have uh, the capacity to drive yourself at 16, people used to have like a lot of responsibilities when they were young a long time ago. Now you know they're coddled until they're out of college now. Do you think there should be speed, speed limits on the highways? Let the uh, market to decide that. What do you mean that? What I mean that is like uh, you can't say that the government knows what's best for you in terms of uh, driving? Sure they do. They do? Yeah. Because you look at deaths over time and you see that if you have a certain speed limit, there are fewer deaths. It's common sense. Well, you, you it's find based, a, you it's find based a lot, on logic. And, and here's the logic thing. You find a lot of places in Europe where they remove speed limit signs, traffic lights and all that stuff, and you find that traffic actually moves faster, efficiently. Sir, with, with, with rights come limits. That's just the way it is. If well, you don't have that, you have chaos. Well, who's, who's granting you these rights? Where does that come from? Where did your rights come from? In general, the Constitution. Right, the Constitution. And the Constitution is a document, right? It yeah. reports itself to be a contract, mm -hmm. right? That only those men signed and wrote, and the contract is beholden oh, to those I men. I think the Constitution has some flaws, and I think it needs to be amended in, in several ways. But you never okay. signed that contract. Your name is not on the Constitution. Right. It doesn't, there, so you can't say that. So it are, you say, to you. are you saying that the only people who are bound by the Constitution are those? Yes. As any real it. contract, yes. That's not ridiculous. If I went with my friends, that's if I went with my friends to sign a contract, the, what we wrote in Sir, there that's ridiculous. doesn't apply to you, does it? Oh my it? God. Are you saying that, if, that you can write a contract with your friends and that could apply to me? Are you saying that's a ridiculous notion? Just go go on your own way. You, you have a screw loose, and I can't carry on an intelligent conversation. So you can with you. do so, so. So you're saying you can do that? You can force people to your contract. Go on, go on. That's okay. Go on. Okay. All right, well, it's good talking to you, sir. <laughs>